Welcome to Church of the Ascension's morning prayer for Wednesday, August 26, 2020. My name is Johnny Cagwin. I'm Denise Bozich. And thank you for joining us for morning prayer. Yeah, we're grateful that you're here. The Lord is in his holy temple. Let all the earth keep silence before him. Let us humbly confess our sins to Almighty God. Almighty and most merciful Father, we have erred and strayed from your ways like lost sheep. We have followed too much the devices and desires of our own hearts and have offended against your holy laws. We, we have, have left, left undone, undone those things which we ought to have done, done. And, and we have done those things which we ought not to have done. And apart, apart from, from your grace, grace there is no help no in us. O oh Lord, Lord, have mercy, mercy upon us. us. Spare all those who confess their faults. Restore those all those who are penitent according, according to your promises, promises to declare to, to all people in Christ, in Christ Jesus, Jesus our Lord. Lord. And, and grant, O oh, most merciful, merciful Father, for his Christ sake, Christ that we may now live a godly, righteous, righteous and, and sober life, life to, to the glory, glory of your holy Lord. name. Amen. Amen. Grant to your faithful people, merciful Lord, pardon and peace, that we may be cleansed from all our sins and serve you with a quiet mind. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. O Lord, open our lips. And our mouth shall proclaim your praise. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Praise the Lord. The Lord's name be praised. The mercy of the Lord is everlasting. O come, o come let us let adore, adore him. him. O come, o come let, let us Sing unto the Lord. Let us heartily rejoice in the strength of your salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and show ourselves glad in him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. In his hand are the depths of the earth and the, and the heights, heights of the hills, the hills are his also. also. The sea he is his, for he made, made it. And his hands prepared the dry land. land. O, come, o come, let us worship and fall down, down and kneel before, before the Lord, Lord our, maker. our Maker. For he is our God, 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 and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. hand. The Lord, the mercy of the Lord is everlasting. O come, let us adore him. From Psalm 136. O give thanks unto the Lord, for he is gracious. For his mercy endures forever. O give thanks unto the God of all the gods. For his mercy endures forever. O give thanks unto the Lord of all lords. For his mercy endures forever. Who alone does great wonders. For his mercy endures forever. Who by his excellent wisdom made the heavens. For his mercy endures forever. Who laid out the earth above the waters. For his mercy endures forever. Who made the great lights. For his mercy endures forever. The sun to rule the day. 
for his mercy endures forever. The moon and the stars to govern the night. For his mercy endures forever. Who struck down the firstborn of Egypt. For his mercy endures forever. And brought out Israel from among them. For his mercy endures forever. With a mighty hand and an outstretched arm. For his mercy endures forever. Who divided the Red Sea into parts. For his mercy endures forever. And made Israel pass through the midst of it. For his mercy endures forever. But as for Pharaoh and his host, he overthrew them in the Red Sea. For his mercy endures forever. Who led his people through the wilderness. For his mercy endures forever. Who smote great kings. For his mercy endures forever. And slew mighty kings. For his mercy endures forever. Sihon, king of the Amorites. For his mercy endures forever. And Og, the king of Bashan. For his mercy endures forever. And gave away their land for an inheritance. For his mercy endures forever. Even for an inheritance for Israel, his servant. For his mercy endures forever. Who remembered us when we were in trouble? For his mercy endures forever. And delivered us from our enemies. For his mercy endures forever. Who gives food to all flesh? For his mercy endures forever. Oh, give thanks unto the God of heaven. For his mercy endures forever. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord of lords. For his mercy endures forever. Glory be, Glory be to the Father, and to, and the, to the Son, Son and to the, and to the Holy, Holy Spirit, Spirit, as it was in the beginning, the beginning is, now, is now, and, and ever, ever shall be, be world without, without end. Amen. Amen. A reading from the Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, according to St. John, beginning with the 12th chapter, the first verse. Now on the first day of the week, Mary Magdalene came to the tomb early, while it was still dark, and saw that the stone had been taken away from the tomb. So she ran and went to Simon Peter and the other disciple, the one whom Jesus loved, and said to him, they have taken the Lord out of the tomb, and we don't know where they have laid him. So Peter went out with the other disciple, and they were going toward the tomb. Both of them were running together, but the other disciple outran Peter and reached the tomb first. And stooping to look in, he saw the linen cloths lying there, but he did not go in. Then Simon Peter came, following him, and went into the tomb. He saw the linen clothes lying there and the face cloth, which had been on Jesus's head, not lying with the linen cloth, but folded up in a place by itself. Then the other disciple who had reached the tomb first also went in and he saw and believed. For as yet they did not understand the scripture that he must rise from the dead. Then the disciples went back to their homes. But Mary stood weeping outside the tomb. And as she wept, she stooped to look into the tomb. And she saw two angels in white sitting where the body of Jesus had lain, one at the head and one at the feet. They said to her, woman, why are you weeping? She said to them, they have taken away my Lord, and I do not know where they have laid him. Having said this, she turned around and saw Jesus standing, but she did not know that it was Jesus. Jesus said to her, woman, why are you weeping? Whom are you seeking? Supposing him to be the gardener, she said to him, sir, if you have carried him away, tell me where you have laid him and I will take him away. Jesus said to her, Mary. 
she turned and said to him in Aramaic, Rabboni, which means teacher. Jesus said to her, do not cling to me, for I have not yet ascended to the Father. But go to my brothers and say to them, I am ascending to my Father and your Father, to my God and your God. Mary Magdalene went and announced to the disciples, I have seen the Lord, and that he had said these things to her. On the evening of that day, the first day of the week, the doors being locked where the disciples were, were for fear of the Jews, Jesus came and stood among them and said to them, Peace be with you. When he had said this, he showed them his hands and his side. Then the disciples were glad when they saw the Lord. Jesus said to them again, Peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, even so I am sending you. And when he had said this, he breathed on them and said to them, Receive the Holy Spirit. If you forgive the sins of any, they are forgiven them. And if you withhold forgiveness from any, it is withheld. Now Thomas, one of the twelve, called the twin, was not with them when Jesus came. So the other disciples told him, We have seen the Lord. But he said to them, Unless I see in his hands the mark of the nails, and place my finger into the mark of the nails, and place my hand into his side, I will never believe. Eight days later, his disciples were inside again, and Thomas was with them. Although the doors were locked, Jesus came and stood among them and said, Peace be with you. Then he said to Thomas, Put your finger here and see my hands. Put out your hand and place it in my side. Do not disbelieve, but believe. Thomas answered him, My Lord and my God. And Jesus said to him, Have you believed because you have seen me? Blessed are those who have not seen and yet have believed. Now Jesus did many other signs in the presence of the disciples, which are not written in this book, but these are written so that you may believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, and that by believing you may have life in his name. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. The Apostles' Creed? Yes. I believe in God, God the Father, Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy I kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. 
O Lord, show your mercy upon us. And grant us your salvation. O Lord, guide those who govern us. And lead us in the way of justice and truth. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. And let your people sing with joy. O Lord, save your people. And bless your inheritance. Give peace in our time, O Lord. And defend us by your mighty power. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten. Nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God. And take not your Holy Spirit from us. O Lord, our Heavenly Father, almighty and everlasting God, you have brought us safely to the beginning of this day. Defend us by your mighty power, that we may not fall into sin, nor run into any danger, and that guided by your Holy Spirit, we may do what is righteous in your sight, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, you stretched out your arms of love on the hard wood of the cross, that everyone might come within the reach of your saving embrace. So clothe us in your spirit that we, reaching forth our hands in love, may bring those who do not know you to the knowledge and love of you for the honor of your name. Amen. Amen. Uh, we invite you to take a moment or two to offer prayers. And together, Almighty, Almighty God, God Father, Father of all mercies, we are unworthy servants, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for your creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all for your immeasurable love in the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we, and we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts, we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to your service and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, to him with you and the Holy Spirit, be honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. A prayer of St. John. Almighty God, you have given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplications to you. And you have promised through your well-beloved son that when two or three are gathered in his name, you will grant their requests. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth and in the age to come, life everlasting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen. Amen. How'd we do? <laughs>